This is one way you can use Clicker 6 to prepare for your students before they begin typing. I work with ESOL students, so I only have a short amount of time to work with them. So I go on the computer, I click on All Programs, I go to Applications, then I go down to Clicker 6. This is all after I've logged in with the student login. So this is all on their student login, so once they finish working, they can um, save their work under their own document. Now I click on New Document under Start Writing. Once I do that, I go up to the top here and I click on Clicker Set and New Set. Then I click on Sentence Building. And once I do that, I can begin typing. My students were working on poems, so I had them write the poems. And then I went in and typed them like this. before they came to me. As you can see, I hit enter after each line. Um, so that's important so that you can get a new page um, for each clicker set. So you'll see Minecraft will be one uh, clicker set, by Tony Vu will be another clicker set. So then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on create. Now that I have the whole poem typed in, and as you'll see, it's going to come up at the bottom. And this will be the first line. And then there's an arrow here. And this will go to their other clicker sets. So as you see, they can keep clicking through and adding each line. And I'll show you what it would look like. So they'd click on that for the first line. OK, that's his title. Then he'd click here for his name. Oops. Enter Minecraft. there. Okay, and the program is really nice because it will speak back what the students Bye. have typed. Okay, so we'll have his name on this line. Okay, and then I'm going to hit enter. Or you can type the, or you can hit the blue arrow um, to go to the next, oops, to go to the next line as well. Bye, oops. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click the blue arrow to go to the next line. And then I'm gonna click, I'll show you uh, the blue arrow over here is the one that I would click to go to the next line. Okay, or you can click enter, either way is fine. So now I'm gonna go back here and I'll hit enter and then I'm going to go back here to go to the next line. Okay, and you'll see all of the words are down below. And he will look at his poem to see how to put it in the right order. And it's all there along with the punctuation. Now this one is very, this sentence is very long. Um, 
you might want to have them make them a little bit shorter. And I'm still really learning um, clicker sticks, but if you go to the top here, you can click on this and it will read everything that you've typed so far. Minecraft by Tony Vu. When I touch the controller with my thumb, it is soft. Okay, and I forgot to add the period at the end. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add that. Minecraft by Tony Vu. When mm -hmm. I touch the controller with my thumb, it is soft. Okay, and I think whenever you type the period, it goes back and reads whatever you have there as well. So anyways, I'll just show you one more line. Um, okay, so I can go and add this next line. And you'll see I'm just clicking on the words to get them up there, which is going to save your students a lot of typing time. I see Green Luigi and Red Mario. Okay, so you'll see when you add the period at the end, it will go back and I... it will read the whole sentence. Okay, um, so this is how I used Clicker 6, and this is how I went through and got it set up for my students ahead of time so that when they came to me, it was ready for them to go, and they could just go ahead and start typing. Then when they're finished, I had them save it by clicking Document, Save Document As, and then they could go here and just simply type in their name, poem, for example, and just click on save. Okay, so that's something they would do when they were done. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I have been able to use Clicker 6. I hope to learn more about how to use it, um, but this is kind of my introduction to it. I hope you enjoyed your introduction, and I hope you'll be able to uh, use Clicker 6 as well with your students and find some ways that you can help cut down on time by getting stuff preset for them as I have done here. Thank you.